Ukraine claims that the backfire UAV has an operating range of more than 30 kilometers, can fly deep behind enemy lines. It is equipped with a GPS antenna and is capable of countering Russian electronic warfare. Vice Prime Minister of Ukraine for Innovation, Education, Science and Technology, Mikhailo Fedorov posted an image of the backfire UAV on social network X. According to him, the backfire UAV will help Ukrainian forces attack anterior positions, logistic centers, warehouses, and enemy command posts. It's the latest development in Russia and Ukraine's ongoing drone war one accelerated by constant technological advancements and the ever-present role of drones on the battlefield. Fedorov noted that the backfire's main feature is its powerful GPS antenna resistant to Russian jamming and electronic warfare. That antenna, Fedorov added, is almost impossible to jam and why the backfire drone will soon be mass-produced and join Ukraine's other various UAVs in combat. Fedorov said it's already completed 50 or more successful missions over the past few months. Backfire is Ukraine's latest development in a brutal drone war that has left both sides wary as technological advances force constant innovation. Troops regularly rely on drones to fight in combat. One Ukrainian service member said in September that his unit hadn't really fired its rifles in half a year and was often relying on drones to fight. The Ukrainian developed backfire loitering munition is part of the Brave One defensive cluster. The developers cooperate with the joint attachment Ever Birds of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, which helps improve UAVs. Previously, it was reported that this drone is capable of carrying a lot of up to 4 kilograms, about 2 2 kilograms bombs. Backfire has already passed the commission of the Ministry of Defense and is waiting an order for admission to operation. This means that the state will officially be able to purchase these drones. The development team is already prepared for the mass production of the UAVs. Recall that recently it became known that the Ukrainian military will receive more long-range tri drones, which will hit targets in the deep rear of Russia. Throughout the conflict, relatively cheap UAVs have taken out tanks and ammo vehicles, largely asymmetric targets, as well as virtually anything that moves on the battlefield. Videos from the world regularly show first-person view drones colliding with tanks, flying into open hatches in ammo vehicles, snaking up on troops in trenches, and exploding on impact. Both Ukraine and Russia are actively participating in a drone's arms race, which has pushed them to seek new technologies to defeat each other.